It took a minute for us to figure out all the initial symptoms from the coronavirus when it first hit. Now with three years of research, there could be a lingering connection between COVID-19 and heart issues. Here to share symptoms to look out for and when to see a cardiologist post COVID is Dr. Rajiv Agarwal with Modern Heart and Vascular Institute. Good morning. Good morning, Deborah. How are you? Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, too. Uh, you know, okay, so with COVID, we obviously knew the first thing it, it seemed to hit uh, were the lungs. And then a lot of people uh, got through COVID and started talking about this thing called long COVID. And they were having all kinds of issues, whether they couldn't taste or smell anymore. I have one friend who's, who says she's got this persistent back pain that she had during COVID that will not go away. But now we have more information to work with that really points to some heart issues. Yeah, you know, initially we thought that it's just a primary lung issue, but it's not. It's, it has lots of effects on the heart. There's several ways it affects the heart. Number one, what, during the acute phase when you have COVID, you get uh, less oxygen in your uh, body uh, because the lungs are flooded with inflammation or blood clots or what have you. Secondly, you can get inflammation directly in the heart muscle. And we've seen people that develop congestive heart failure, uh, something called cardiomyopathy. And, and the other thing is something called a cytokine storm. And basically what that means is when you get COVID, the body just attacks the viruses. You get a severe attack uh, from uh, chemicals in the body that attack the virus. But unfortunately, those chemicals can attack healthy heart tissue as well. And that can cause a lot of rhythm problems, a lot of uh, heart disease that we're seeing months and years now after COVID, Deborah. Yeah, can that make it even worse for somebody who had existing heart disease? Absolutely, uh, they're already at risk. They have a, a strike whammy already, and now they get an infection that drops their oxygen levels, that drops uh, their heart rate or raises their heart rate or affects their blood pressure, their heart function. And these people come in really sick at the hospital. What our goal is to avoid them from going to the hospital and educate them about when to see their primary care doctor or a cardiologist. All right, what are some of the symptoms to look for post COVID and how, how long after COVID are we seeing this? Oh, we're, we're seeing them immediately. We're seeing them months later and we're even seeing them years later. I saw a patient this week, uh, yesterday, who had COVID in 2019 and has been having symptoms uh, for two plus years now and finally came in to get checked out. But the common symptoms that we're seeing in patients, uh, number one, chest discomfort. Number two, shortness of breath. Number three, palpitations and fatigue. So let's go through each one. The chest pain, the key with all of these symptoms is that are they with exertion? So if you get chest discomfort with exertion uh, and it, you rest and it goes away, the shortness of breath, you walk to the bathroom, you walk to your car, you're getting out of breath, don't ignore it. And palpitations are uh, when you feel like your heart's racing or you feel a flutter or a skip in your heartbeat, not to be ignored. But most commonly still, Deborah, is fatigue. People are living with poor quality of life and that's not acceptable. They've had COVID, they have fatigue, they need to get checked out. I can tell you stories of hundreds of patients that have seen us for fatigue. We found that their heart was involved. We took care of that and their quality of life is back to normal now. Yeah, yeah. You know, some of the symptoms that you mentioned uh, kind of mimic having an actual heart attack. Okay, so I know a lot of people right now are kind of freaked out. So uh, let's look at when you should call the doctor, when you should probably just go ahead and head to the hospital. Uh, when you have shortness of breath that you talked about, when do you call your doctor and when do you cut bait and say, I probably need to go in? Yeah, if the symptoms are severe, so if you're seeing that you have blue lips, you're having severe, severe chest discomfort, your oxygen levels are very low, you need to get proper care. Don't go to your cardiologist, don't go to your primary care. That's probably the time to go to the hospital. But if the symptoms are manageable, yes, you're, you're symptomatic, but it's not to the point where you feel like you're dying, uh, then, then certainly come in and see us or some cardiologist and get checked out. The, yeah. the goal is to find it early and make it go away. So there are the heart issues that we talked about related to COVID, but is an actual heart attack more likely after COVID? It, it, it depends. Uh, you know, there, there are two common types of heart attacks that we talk about. There's type one, which is due to blockages and clots. It's less likely. I mean, I, I saw a 41 year old guy recently who was a basketball player playing full court basketball with his three boys. He came in as a second opinion to us. He had a 99% blockage in the wow. Widowmaker artery. Wow. Don't tell me that he had that blockage before COVID because he was playing full court basketball. Mm. So it does cause 
type one heart attacks, but less likely. More commonly are what are called type two heart attacks, which is from the stress of the uh, COVID affecting the heart. Yeah. Whether the heart rate goes up, the oxygen level goes down, those are way more likely. Is the COVID damage permanent? It, it can be, uh, but you know the key is to get screened early. We're learning more and more about this. My, my message to the audience today would be is that if you're having symptoms, please don't ignore them. Please don't say that, well, they'll go away on its own. It's something I ate. If you've had COVID and you're having any of these symptoms, please get checked out. There's so many patients that we've been able to bring back to normal quality of life because they didn't wait. Yeah, and of course, That's Dr. Argawal, we know that you know heart, uh, heart attacks are the number one killer of men and women around the world. At a certain age, you should just get checked out, period, whether you've had COVID or not, uh, because oftentimes the first sign of an actual heart attack is the actual heart attack. Exactly, you're right. So I would encourage our audience, if they're 50 and above, get screened regardless. It's like getting a mammogram on time for women. Mm -hmm. uh, get screened on time. And if you're diabetic or have strong family history, start even earlier. It could save your life. All right. Thank you, Dr. Agarwal. Thank you, Deborah. To book an appointment with a board certified cardiologist at Modern Heart and Vascular Institute, visit them online at modernheartandvascular.com. You can also call them at this number. It's 832 644-8930. Again, that's 832-644-8930. They accept most major insurances, including Medicare. Appointments fill up fast, so contact them today. And by the way, they have doctors who are fluent in Spanish as well. It only takes a minute to schedule a heart screening, and that could, as he said, save your life.